I've got no interest in stymieing business growth. I come from Youngstown, Ohio, for God's sake. We've been in a recession for 30 years. You think I have an interest in stymieing business development? I want to help it. You tried your, they tried their side. I say to my friends, they, I was here. I'm not that old, but I've been here eight years now, and I sat here and I watched while Bush jammed through his tax policy, cut taxes for the rich, they said this is going to trickle down and help the poor. It didn't help anybody but the rich. I sat here and watched while he passed a prescription drug bill, didn't negotiate prices, didn't do anything, didn't pay for it, borrowed the money, started wars, didn't have money for the wars that, that he started. I sat here and watched while the Republican rubber stamp Congress rubber stamped all of those policies. The economy didn't improve, wages didn't go up. You had, they had control of every single thing. They had a chance to implement their health care strategy. It didn't work because they didn't do anything. They had a chance to implement their energy strategy. And when gas goes to $4 a gallon again this summer, we're going to feel it again. This is significant stuff we're talking about. And Democrats are stepping up to bat for the American people. We are taking on the insurance industry. I just want to say to my colleague and those here on the floor this evening, I am so proud to share the space in this chamber with the likes of you, and particularly you, Congressman Garamendi. And he was correct in saying that, yes, when he, when I got into the Senate, he relinquished his committee, and I held it for 17 years. And I think he probably is aware of my feelings at this moment. I have viewed the ugliness of today, Congressman Garamendi, that is so reminiscent of what I went to when I was on the school board in the 70s and we had to integrate our schools. And I was the only person there who was an African American. And I had to endure the slurs that were heard today. It was absolutely ugly. The use of the inward spitting, the ranting, the distortions, the slurs, and the deceitful references to our health care reform and I felt it was despicable. I didn't think it could happen again here in America. But I'm reminded that hate continues. Why should there be ranting and raving when we're trying to cover the 38 million Americans without health care insurance? And 8 million are in our state, California. And 6 million of them our children. And I want to say that the legislation that we are addressing will make health care affordable for the middle class. I don't know how many people out there ranting were middle class, but this definitely will help them. Uh, Representative Watson, thank you so very much. I am, I am appalled and personally offended, and I think all owe an apology to those representatives who were demeaned, who were spat upon, who were cursed, and who were called the ugliest of names. Uh, it's um, totally unacceptable. Mr. Tom, if you would. Representative Garamendi, I couldn't agree more. And I think that um, Representative Watson says it well. There's all the call for civil discussion, exchange of information, to do things analytically and substantively when it comes to a huge industry that represents one of every six dollars in this country. And we need to do it in a way that brings together the facts, not to deal with fiction. And emotion, obviously, is part of this discussion. Uh, we heard it from our friend, Representative Ryan. We are emotionalized by this, but let's have the sort of dialogue that builds soundness into the reforms that we desperately need as a nation.